you are not a victim of your genes. And recently,、uh, it is becoming more public. And the recent issue of Discover: DNA is not your identity. Yet every day, the media still tells you that genes control this and genes control that. And then people get nervous about what genes are in their family. If you look for the disease, you can create the disease through epigenetics. Right now, it appears that about 95% of cancer is not because of mutant genes, but because of epigenetic control, and it can be passed from parent to child like genes. But the difference is, you can change your epigenetics at any time. If you change your perception, you change the reading of your genes. If someone tells you you're going to have a disease and you believe that, then you can create the disease. Okay. Conclusion one: perception, how you see life, the switch controls behavior because that's protein. Perception controls which genes are being read and how they're being read. And the one I didn't have time for right now is the third one. Perception can rewrite the genetic code. So perception controls life. Since perception controls biology, and since they can be right or wrong, then it's more accurate to say that belief controls biology. What you believe creates your life. On the inside. And on the outside. So when you look at yourself, you're not a single entity, but you are a community of 50 trillion cells. But it's important to understand the word community. Every cell is intelligent, but when they're in a community, they give up their personal intelligence and respond to the central voice. And in in that community, that. A cell must follow what the central voice is, and if the central voice says to die, the cells will die. So the central voice is the mind.